The following portion of daytime is sponsored by Moffitt Cancer Center. According to the American Cancer Society, one in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. Each man's risk can vary and joining us to share his expertise on screenings and treatment options is Dr. Kashe Yamoa, chair of the Department of Radiation Oncology at Moffitt Cancer Center. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Thank you for having me. It's great. Yeah, this is such an important topic. I want to know first off, at what age should men start prostate cancer screenings? So most of the guidelines will say, you know, between 45 years all the way to 75 years old, you should at least uh, start screening with your PSA, which is a blood test, a prostate um, specific antigen, and which just allows us to know if there's something wrong with the prostate. Of course, there's several things that can cause that, but that's really the range for certain groups is actually earlier. Okay, and speaking of maybe for earlier groups, why is it that African American men tend to be more prone to prostate cancer? Great question. You know, the, the data shows that the ability to get the disease, the incidence, and also dying from the disease is higher among men of African origin. Um, we know the, the statistics is like one out of, you know, eight men will get prostate cancer in their lifetime. For black men, it's probably one out of six or sometimes one out of four, right? So wow. it's a little higher. No, a little, a bit higher, right? Um, and so not only that, but also they get it at an earlier age. Uh, the median age for prostate cancer is 68 years old, and all the data sets we've looked at for men of African origin is somewhere 62 years old. And so if you think about that, screening uh, needs to be earlier. And so we recommend that if you are a man, uh, from men of African origin, you want to at least know your first PSA by age 40. Uh, also, if you have a family history of prostate cancer or, you know, if you, you notice symptoms, obviously you want to get checked. And if there's any, you know, risk, uh, genetic risk that you are aware of, um, you should get checked as well. Okay, and you mentioned something that I also have in my notes. If someone has been told they have a high level of PSA, yes. what exactly does that mean and what should right. they do? Right, so the PSA is sometimes, you know, it's just a blood test. Uh, it's, it's known as the prostate uh, specific angiogen. It's just something that a prostate gland produces. Um, mostly it's found in the prostate gland. So if you don't have a prostate, you shouldn't have PSA in your body, right? That's kind of uh, goes without saying. So it's a good test for us to look at. However, the levels are different for everyone. Everyone has a different range. And so really we pay attention to the, the trend, you know, rather than the actual value. Normal PSA levels are anywhere from zero to four. That's kind of the normal range, but every age group has a different range. And so really getting that baseline level is important. So you know where your PSA sits. So if it changes, you know what to do. Gotcha, and I understand that proton therapy yes. is an option. How does that differ from other treatment options? Excellent question. So even before I dive into it, why, why protons, right? So, so you, 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 you need to look at uh, prostate cancer treatment as a, as a multidisciplinary treatment approach, right? So you know, at Moffitt Cancer Center, we have several experts, um, oncologists, which includes radiation oncologists like myself, a urologic oncologist and medical oncologist. And we form a team of experts that focus on treating prostate cancer. And we like to tailor the treatments to the needs of the patient. So proton therapy is one kind of treatment, right, that allows you to treat prostate cancer effectively amongst other types of cancers. But really, it really comes down to the arsenal of, of different technologies that we can use to meet the patient's specific needs. Wow. So we have brachytherapy, we have proton therapy, we have, you know, all kinds of therapies that Moffitt allows you Moffitt has to. it all. And the great thing about Moffitt is there's no referral needed. Absolutely. Dr. Emoa, thank you so much for being here today. For more information, you can visit moffitt.org slash outcomes. Daytime will be right back. The preceding portion of Daytime was sponsored by Moffitt Cancer Center.